The Thank You Pie by Mary Quattlebaum. Art by Amy Bates. This pumpkin pie looks awfully plain, said Mom. It should look special for Thanksgiving. Candles make a birthday cake look special, said Sarah. Let's add candles to the pie. When you light them, we can each say what we're thankful for. What a good idea, said Mom. So Danny and Sarah put four candles on the pie. When Mom lit the red candle, Dad said, I'm thankful for our family. I'm thankful for our home, said Mom as she lit the orange candle. Mom lit the yellow candle and Sarah said, I'm thankful for my friends. The green one's mine, said Danny. He stared at the tiny flame and then said, I'm thankful for our food, especially this thank you pie. Everybody took a big breath. Whoosh! They blew out all the candles and sang, Happy Thanksgiving to us. Bow wow! Barked Buddy. Danny laughed. I think Buddy wants us to eat. Mom cut the thank you pie, and even Buddy had a piece. The Box House by David L. Roper, art by Robert Squire. Poppy pulls a new TV from a box and puts it on the TV stand. Let's throw away the box, he says. But Elijah has an idea. Let's make a house, he says. Good idea, says Poppy. When the house is finished, Elijah crawls in the door and peeks out all the windows. What kind of house is it? asks Poppy. It's a firehouse, Elijah says. Elijah has another idea. He goes into the house and looks out a window. Can I take your order, Poppy? He asks. I'll have a hamburger and lemonade, says Poppy. Coming right up, says Elijah. He hands an imaginary hamburger and lemonade to Poppy. Mmm, says Poppy. Very good. Poppy looks at the clock. Uh Uh-oh, he says. It's almost time for your mother to pick you up and your toys are all over the floor. Where can we put them? I know, says Elijah. At night, my house can be a toy shop. Can You Find Me? By Marianne Mitchell. Art by Catherine Mitter. Bella and Marco were playing hide and seek. It was Bella's turn to hide. So Marco started to count. One, two, three. First, Bella tried hiding behind a palm tree, but it was too skinny. Marco kept counting. Four, five, six. Bella thought Woofy's doghouse would be a good hiding place but he was inside taking a nap. Marco was almost done counting. Seven, eight, nine. Bella spied some beach towels on the patio. She crawled under them just as Marco shouted, 10. Marco ran all over the yard looking for Bella, but he couldn't find her. Finally, He called out, where are you? Bella popped out from the pile of towels and shouted, here I am. (laughs) Then Marco went to hide and Bella started counting. One, 
two, three. Mail for Mia by Sonia Martinez Mukherjee. Art by Natalie Heinrichsen. Mia watched the mail truck pull up to the mailbox. The mail's here, she called. Do you think there's any mail for me? Let's go see, said Dad. There were catalogs and bills, but there was no mail for Mia. The next day, they looked again, but there was still no mail for Mia. Mia said, let's write a letter to Grandma. Good idea, said Mom. Mia wrote scribbles, lines, and loops. She even wrote an M for Mia. Mom wrote Grandma's address on the front of an envelope. I'll put on the stamp, said Mia. She pushed up the red flag so the mail carrier would pick up her letter. Now it was on its way to Grandma. Mia waited and waited. Then one day, she opened the mailbox and found a letter. It's for me, said Mia. The letter was from Grandma. It said, Thanks for the letter, Mia. I love you. Maya's Garden by Marianne Mitchell. Art by Kathleen Kemley. Maya and Dad were planting a garden. I've put the tomatoes in, said Dad. What else do you like? Maya held up a package of lettuce seeds. She said, I like lettuce. While Dad planted the lettuce seeds, Maya made a marker for the row. What else shall we plant? asked Dad. Maya saw a package of cucumber seeds. She said, I like cucumbers. Let's plant them by the fence so they can climb, said Dad. Shall we plant some onions? Dad asked. Maya shook her head. I don't like onions. Do you like radishes? asked Dad. Yes, said Maya. Watch this, said Dad. He spelled out Maya's name in the dirt. Then he sprinkled radish seeds along the letters. When these sprout, you'll have your name in radishes. Maya grinned. My name in radishes? I like it. The Poster Contest by Eileen Spinelli. Art by Rose Mary Berlin. Little Bunny and his friend Squirrel entered a poster contest. Squirrel's poster won. When he got home, Little Bunny told Papa, I worked hard on my poster. I made it the best I could. I wanted to win. You did work hard, said Papa. Yours was a fine poster. I'll hang it in my office. Mama gave Little Bunny a hug and said, I hope you congratulated Squirrel. Little Bunny sniffed. Squirrel was too busy getting his picture taken. Then Little Bunny went to his room. He sulked and sulked and sulked some more. And he got very bored. He wondered what Squirrel was doing. He remembered the fun they had painting their posters together. So Little Bunny took out some paper. He reached for his paint set and he painted another poster one with a sailboat. He knew Squirrel loved sailboats. Under the sailboat, with Grandpa's help, he printed in big red letters the biggest word he knew. Congratulations! 
Little Bunny walked to Squirrel's house. He gave Squirrel the poster. Thanks, said Squirrel. I love sailboats. What's the big word? Congratulations, said Little Bunny. Wow, thanks again, said Squirrel. This is way better than getting my picture taken. Want to ride bikes, said Little Bunny. Sure, said Squirrel. And off they went together. <laughs>